as we are moving toward Thanksgiving, it's a great opportunity to consider reasons to give thanks. Thanks to God for so many different things. And thanks to all the people who contribute to what each of us experience as blessings. While we may quickly think of life, health, work, a home, and food on our table as blessings, and they indeed are wonderful gifts and reasons for gratitude, let us particularly focus on the people we count as blessings. This list will then surely include family and friends, and I imagine will include many others, from work associates, church members, and neighbors. Aren't there many people who help life to have joy and meaning? People with whom we can share, seek advice, feel support. People who make life enjoyable and interesting. I urge everyone to think of those people in these days leading to Thanksgiving, and then to thank God for them. Yes, certainly to do that. But also to think of them because it will help us to be grateful. And gratitude is one of the qualities a Christian is called to have. So please allow me, particularly on behalf of the student body here at Curley, to extend thanks to our friends and donors who help the mission of Curley to continue and to expand. May God bless your generosity and your consistent support. Indeed, it is a growing support of alumni, their parents, and so many friends that is deeply valued, for it makes a difference here each and every day. May I also remind everyone that the Tuesday after Thanksgiving, December 1st this year, is known as Giving Tuesday. And perhaps if you have not already given to the annual fund, you can use that day to support Curly, a really unselfish act on your part. Finally, our prayers and best wishes that you and your loved ones will have a wonderful Thanksgiving, aware of God's love and blessings in your life. This is Father Donald at Archbishop Curly High School in Baltimore, wishing you the Lord's peace.